everybody and welcome to another video and in this video it's all about I guess cheap OG Lolita budget Halloween ideas. Uh, so essentially you know you have Halloween coming up and you're like it's kind of expensive and I have no money because I spent it all on Lolita but then realize you do also have a bunch of Lolita or OG in your wardrobe. Well basically these are some really cheap ideas that you can do. So uh, I will actually preface this with a caveat as well um, that if you are going to a general Halloween party that other people could have fake blood and like face paint and that sort of stuff that could get on your more expensive pieces. So please keep that in mind if this is obviously a more general Halloween party. Um, obviously if this is like a little specific party uh, then these are some ideas just to spookify it just a little bit extra uh, for your meat. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I'd recommend is actually kind of sticking to your sub styles. If you happen to have, um, I guess, like any pirate OG or Lolita, that is a easy go to um, if you have that. Um, any military or sailor as well, you could definitely use that. Um, you know, honestly, if you have like a bit of Hime Lolita, you could easily go with like a princess Lolita. And the same thing goes for OG and a prince coordinate. Um, especially if you happen to have a lot of crowns or tiaras floating around, uh, that's a really, really easy starting point for coordinates. Um, the second one that I think is pretty easy across all um, like Lolita substyles would be maybe a witch. Um, if you have any sweet Lolita, you could definitely go for kind of a candy witch take. Um, but if you go, if you obviously have gothic or classic, um, if you get your hands on a witch hat. Um, that's also like another really easy starting point. Um, for me personally, I have this like little cheap witch hat I picked up from the shop, but obviously you can get more Lolita specific witch hats if you have more funds. A really, really nice one I like to recommend, um, for Halloween, if, especially if you've already got like Lolita and OG is using Scarecrow Fangs for vampire teeth. Now I have personally used this as well for a, um, multiple Lolita and like non Lolita Halloween parties and often you know these go really great with coordinates especially gothic and OG um, for kind of like adding to your outfit saying I'm a vampire so it's very cool highly recommend them I've got a pair of them myself um, they are also reusable so that means you can use them into other outfits um, as well in the future if you want to do that um, the other one you could do is any animal takes. Now, we'll probably put animal takes in quotation marks because I know, you know, some of the leaders aren't very comfortable with the idea of wearing any animal ears with the leader. I personally think Halloween does give you a bit of a free pass. So um, I've done a Kitsune Fox um, for one of my Lolita, uh, last leader events. And especially this looks really nice if you happen to have any wild leader stuff. Um and yeah, uh, making a mask, there's a few online tutorials or you can always buy one online and that's a really easy one to do. That's pretty cheap as well. Um, I've seen at one of the Halloween parties, one girl's did a really cute black cat sort of themed outfit. So once again, you know, really cute animal ears and takes on that. Um, but I guess with that caveat in mind that, you know, some people might not like that. Um, another really easy one is if you just pick up some like cheap horns, I guess, if you want to do like a demon sort of look. Um, I've seen people before do kind of a demon angel take so once again as well for the angel wings you can pick up those as well from the shops and you can kind of do this as a pair as well there's two of you. Um, another idea could be elf ears. I've seen um, quite a few cute like more foresty themed Lolita outfits with themes so you can definitely kind of go an elf or fairy and you can pick up these really cheap elf ears as well if you've got enough time and give yourself a really easy outfit. I guess this is an OG specific one but you definitely go as a butler. I mean we have a bunch of waistcoats and stuff so you know that's another one if you're in a pinch. Um, I personally have a like um top hat with my OG so that's a really easy one for me where I can probably get a magic wand and boom magician very easy um I know some of the more like circus themed leader prints you could probably go as a clown which I've seen someone also do at one of the Halloween meets I've been to um and another one is um any Alice in Wonderland stuff would be really easy so um, I guess OG specifically, you could definitely go as a Mad Hatter or even kind of like a White Rabbit sort of look or, you know, I guess any 
Alice from Alice in Wonderland itself with aprons and the blue uh, would be a really easy one as well. Um, I guess the other ones I've got in this list, I'm going to put caveats on them because they might not really fly with some people. So I guess take that into account uh, with this. I've seen a really good take on dolls and you can kind of do two different takes. So the first take is the BJD take where you can get kind of the stockings online and, you know, go as a BJD doll. The other one would be a stuffed doll and I've seen people kind of get like tights and like have like that cotton stuffing show through. So you're like a stuffed doll. Um, once again, you know, there's that caveat with leaders and dolls not necessarily being comfortable. So just... I personally think it's fine, but I guess take that into account for other people. Um, you could also totally go as Bo Peep. I mean, I guess that's one of the jokes where a lot of people be like, oh, you know, what are you wearing? And they'll like, like the leaders and say they're wearing Bo Peep. I'm just like, hey, that's a costume idea. I mean, just like amp it up. If you have like sheep themed coordinates, go, go wear them and the bonnets and just be like, yep, that's what I am. So I guess just own it. Um, I guess that'd be kind of my leader Halloween cheap ideas. Um, a lot of them involve just kind of buying one extra piece to kind of just slightly spookify your outfit. Obviously, if you've got more funds to just literally buy, like, you know, a Halloween outfit or literally, you know, have brand, you know, Halloween themed, go for it. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is kind of the cheaper version. So I hope that kind of helps in spookifying your outfits. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.